Good evening. The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades, and this country is not alone. Alone, emotional, and unsafe. This is what most of the people feel with this pandemic. We are facing a global crisis that has damaged us in all kinds of ways. A virus that has taken the lives of so many people around the globe. People feeling isolated, not knowing how to deal with the situation that has laid itself upon them. We now have to live life in a different way, which is changing how we act and what we do. Our mental health will be damaged, our families will be different, but who we are will not change. Day-to-day -day lives are on hold, jobs and careers are now at risk, and schools and education has been stopped from using its full potential. This is the worst thing to happen since the war. We are all suffering, grieving, and dealing with situations in our own ways. We aren't able to see our families. We cannot meet in groups. We are always wearing a face mask and always keeping our distance. After nearly a whole year of battling this virus, there is still no end in sight, no light at the end of the tunnel. And it doesn't seem like this will end and that all hope is lost. There's a quote that I remember from what I was told as a kid when all seemed lost and I feel as though it's something I should now tell you. Hope can be a powerful force. Maybe there is no actual magic in it, but when you know what you hope for most and hold it like a light within you, you can make things happen, almost like magic. The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Do not be ashamed to weep. It is right to grieve. Tears are only water and flowers, trees and fruit cannot grow without it. But there must be sunlight also. A wounded heart will heal in time. And when it does, the memory and love of our lost ones is sealed inside to comfort us.